God will answer uh, our prayers. Amen. Those things that we see that uh, this is now, I've reached the end. There is no way out. God can provide a way out. Amen. That's what we are saying that assurance is confirmed by God's prophetic word. Amen. And we are saying that the knowledge about the future gives assurance in the past. I think that one brings me to the end of the one that I wanted to share with you. And I believe that uh, all of you are blessed. Amen. And that you, wherever we are, we'll continue. For me and you, the only thing that we need to do is to believe in the word of God. Yes. Praise the living God. Amen. Let me invite uh, Pastor Ken to just to finish for us with the word of prayer. Father God Almighty in Jesus Christ's name. Thank you so much for teaching us about believing in you. Thank you so much, Father, because you are not a man. And this is very encouraging. You are not a man that you can promise something and not fulfill. You are not a man that will just say something and then change your minds. Thank you, Father, for assuring us this morning that as believers, we must be, uh, trust in your promises, King of Kings and Lord of Lords, because at your own right time, everything shall come to, 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 to be accomplished, King of Kings and Lord of Lords. I know that we live in a world full of challenges, full of trials and tests, full of hardships and difficulties. I pray, my Lord, my Father, that uh, you will help each and every single one of us to walk by faith and not by sight to trust in you irrespective of what is going on around us, my local Almighty Father. Because you've taught us also in your word that when we shrink back because of what we are going through, you will not be pleased with us. And you recognized and considered Abraham your servant as righteous because of how he believed in you. And I know that this afternoon, Father, as we go home, we are going to trust in you, we are going to believe in you, and so you are going to consider us as righteous King of Kings and Lord of Lords. I pray that even whatever is going on in our nation, even as much as human beings are assuring their followers, their supporters, that we have won or we, some, someone has lost, I pray that we, we will not be carried away by these kind of promises because only your promises are true. Human promises can fail us. Human promises can change. Human beings can change in their minds. Things can change and the hope that, we, we, that they're giving us can come to nothing, King of Kings and Lord of Lords. But when we hope in you, when we trust in you, when we have faith in you and you alone, you will not let us down, O King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Thank you, Father, once more for your word. I know for whatever is going on in the country, you are not asleep. You are in full and total control, Father. And the person that's going to be our leader in the next five years, whether he is, whether we like it or not, whether he was our preferred candidate or not, Father, you will behind every decision that is going to be made at this particular time. I pray that you will just have the humility to submit to whoever is coming in to, to, to create a governing authority. I pray that as your servants, we will not just behave like anyone else, but you will fix our eyes on you, obey your word and be the light of this nation and be the salt of this nation, the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Thank you once more for your word. Give us a great time, give us a great afternoon, give us a great week. Walk with us, Father. Lead us and guide us and protect us. And destroy every satanic network against our faith. Destroy every satanic networks 
against our hope, destroy every satanic networks against our trust, destroy every satanic networks against our belief. Thank you, my Lord Almighty Father, for hearing and for answering this prayer. I pray, believing and trusting in the most your and powerful name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and our Savior. And we all say, Amen. 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 Pastor Matthew, you can come over and uh, go through the announcements. <laughs>